Hello whiskey lovers and welcome to another one of Mark's whiskey ramblings. Today I would like to talk to you about this one, a, a special Isla release from the Whiskey Battle. The Whiskey Battle is an online whiskey shop that often bottles exclusives for them and this is one of those from the Creative Whiskey Company and it's an Isla 10 years old from 2007 and it's a, a refill hogshead and it yielded 285 uh, bottles at a whopping 57.1% ABV. Quite pale, which means it's spirit driven, but what Isla malt is in there might you be venturing? Well, I can tell you it doesn't say on the label, but when I saw the image that was used to promote this bottle, it left nothing to the imagination. You could see a, a uh, in the background, although it was kind of like blurred, it was clearly the Lagavulin distillery. So uh, yeah, this must be Lagavulin. Isla Vaila, 10 years old from 2007, bottled by the Creative Whiskey Company, which used to be owned by David Sturk. He raised and, 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 and uh, he founded and raised it and then he sold it. He got an offer that was too good to refuse, I, I suppose. And, and now David is working together with one of his old chums, Ian Croucher at the North Star Spirit. So the circle is round, he hasn't really, you know, let go of whiskey. But back to this bottling at hand, which is now, um, well, the company is owned by someone else now, but they still use the name Creative Whiskey Company, obviously. And this is one of those, uh, what is it, an exclusive malt? Exclusive malt, Isla 10 years old, actually a Lagavulin in disguise. And as you can see, this is very pale, very pale indeed. It's like white wine, which tells me that this might in fact be uh, uh, spirit driven. Let's find out on the nose. Ah, yes. <laughs> oh, this is very smoky. Lots of ashes in there. Seaweed. Rocks in the surf and, and fish oil with a hint of turpentine in there. And some white flowers. How weird. But how good. I get this, this sigh of diesel from a fishing boat that just arrives to, you know, you know to, to, to drop off the catch of the day. It's nice and maritime, but there's also quite a, a huge dollop of vanilla in there. And some apples and even a hint of dried peach. But Lagavulin's DNA, unmistakable on the palate. Mm. It's got a great body and a good strength, in fact, 100 proof, 57.1% ABV. But it's very naked, if you know what I mean. Uh, it, it, the maritime notes, th th those come first, and then they are followed by, by a real smoke development, sweet and sour peat with notes of kelp in there. And th all of that before some sliced apples come on, uh, a slice of lime indeed, uh, and a cartload of white pepper, you know, that makes it warm and spicy. This is, this is blissful stuff, this is good. And despite the high strength, it is very quaffable, dangerously so, in fact, on the finish. Wow. <laughs> that finish, that fi it lasts forever. And it continues to excite for a long time. It is therefore very satisfying. Smoky, malatine, the apples, it's all there. And it just lingers and lingers and it just, it just won't stop. Mmm, good. Good, good, good. Very good indeed. A very naked Lagavulin indeed. And it's, as they say, close to the grain. <laughs> and that's all for this Whiskey Rambling, for this, uh, uh, the Lagavulin, uh, 10 years old, 2007, from the Creative Whiskey Company. A Lagavulin in disguise, an Isle of Isle, 10 years old, uh, bottled exclusively for the online shop, The Whiskey Battle. And that, my friends, is all for this Whiskey Rambling, and I hope to see it one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings real soon. And until then, may the mob be with you. Bye-bye.